All right, guys. So again, we're just taking a short walk again to get some steps in again. The girls that are here with us today was not here with us last week. And so there's a, another site that we want to go to very close to here. So they figured we'd walk here and get some steps in and then we would continue on over to the other location. And uh, there's supposed to be something very interesting over there to see. So I'm interested in seeing what it is because I've never gone. So you got to stay tuned and let's go find out together what it is at this other location. I hear that it is about uh, maybe 18 to 20 minutes away from where we are now. So we're at Tinker Park and we come here to get the steps in. Then we're going to go over there to this other location and uh, I've never been there, so you're going to go with me, and we're going to go over there and see what it is, okay? So guys, I pray that you're having a great day today, uh, regardless of where you're walking, regardless of what you're doing to get your exercise in, to get your, your blood circulating, your heart pumping, you know, uh, just do something. Get out and do something, right? And enjoy the beauty. Enjoy the beauty. Yeah, get out and, and enjoy the beauty of nature. You know, I was so glad that the election was last night and today uh, is our day to walk because I did not want to be focusing on politics and you can't say that I'm not just gonna I'm gonna ignore politics you can't because we live in this world and we have to obey the laws of the land we are under the laws of this land we're here even though we're we're we have, as Christians, a membership in the kingdom of God. We are also here on this earth. This tells us to be caution, cautious of poison ivy. Sting of nettles grow in the woods. Please stay on the trail. Guys, when I was a little girl, I... Oh my God, my brother grabbed a stingle nettle and was hitting me with it. And I'm telling you, that thing, I was crying to all in. And my mom gave him a good, 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 good spanking for doing what he was doing. <laughs> but your girl was really, really crying because that stingle nettle has uh, little stickers on it. And they stick you and itch and uh, they really really hurt um, he was a little boy and I was a little girl but he felt that he needed to I guess uh, hit me with the stinger nettle and uh, I had to suffer the consequences and it hurt it so badly but they are not something that you want to uh, brush up against get into your clothes, get into your skin in any way. They are very, very, very uncomfortable. Yeah, there's a truck going on right there because the main highway is right over there. Yeah. Guys, what do you think about all the color of the leaves? This covering the ground. Isn't that interesting? It's a complete cover. Can't see grass hardly or anything because the leaves are so, 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 so thick. Yeah, so thick. There. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. Right. And they're just all falling off of the trees now. Yeah. The trees now getting bare. All the foliage is falling off now. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is November 6th is where we are. And guys, the temperature, even though we have on light jackets, it's really not cold today. It's like maybe about 65 maybe or so. Yeah, it's not cold today at all. But we knew that it would rain, so we figured we would wear a covering uh, for the rain. That's why you saw me with my poncho on just a little while ago because there was a drizzle coming over. Right now, we've just got falling leaves and, uh, yeah, and the wind. And we're just walking and talking and debriefing and having a good time. That's a beautiful, beautiful tree right through there. Yeah, nice, nice color right through there. Yeah. Uh, I love to hear there's a squirrel coming down the side of the tree right there. He's running over there. Still haven't seen the black squirrel yet, though. Yeah. Yeah, still haven't seen that. I'm sure there's black squirrels out here. We've seen them before. <clears throat> Just don't, haven't seen any this season. Yeah. So guys, how are you doing? Caregivers, how are you doing? How are things working out for you? Are you refreshing yourselves? Are you finding ways to to make it work for you? Get peace? Tell me some of the things that you're doing. Yeah. Let's have a conversation. My friend Gina Cardo, thank you for all your comments. Thank you, Tiffany, for all your comments. Again, guys, I love the way they place these benches here. Donated by the Winslow faculty and staff. I love how they place these, these seats out here. Yes. Shout out to where well, you going to see you enjoying yourself as you're traveling. David Jr., you're enjoying yourself as you travel with your mom, showing her around. You guys are doing so much. Even saw Dee Mungo, said that she was in the U.S. Watching you guys. Oh, my God. And, and my mentor, uh, Ayamara and Rocio. Uh, I try to keep up with them every day. Guys, we know that baby is coming soon. And, uh, and Ayamara is just enjoying making his Ugali. And he's just having a great time. And I thank God for them. Precious couple. Love them. Love them great people. I mean, guys, that's the way we should be enjoying life. Nothing is perfect, but we take the best of what we have. And whatever we have, we turn it around for our good and make the best out of it, right? You know, there's a scripture, Romans 8, 28, and it says, all things work together for the good, for those who love the Lord, and who are called according to his purpose. I don't understand how, if I can be honest with you, this election that we just had is going to work together for my good or our good. I don't understand it. And if I tell you that I did, I would be lying. I would be speaking something that would not be true in my heart. But I know, I believe and trust the word of God. And, uh, he says in Romans 8, 28 through the Apostle Paul, he says, and we know that all things work together for the good, for those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. So I know I love God and I believe I'm called according to his purpose. And I believe that it's going to work together for my good. So guys, I feel like the rain is coming here and I'm going to pull my hoodie up over my head because we're getting a drizzle right now. Yeah, normally we do not walk in the rain, but this one is kind of on and off. Hi guys. 
yeah and so we are just uh it's a little bit comes and then it kind of stops so i don't think it's going to be anything really really hard yeah so we're just gonna put our hoodie up and if i need to get my poncho out i'll do that and we should be uh, making our way back around the loop into the car in a minute one of the girls do have an umbrella yeah i do but mine is in my car yep so so anyway it's working together for our good don't ask me how i don't know god has to show that god has to show that if you have gone through anything in your life and uh you didn't fully understand it guys this is a tree that has been carved out of the wood look at that see how they did that yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you could say that you didn't understand how this thing was going to turn out. You just couldn't understand it. But you trusted that it was going to work out for your good, huh? Let me know. Leave a comment. Yeah. yeah. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that doesn't have to do anything with doesn't have to be something dealing with politics I'm not talking about that you could be dealing with anything anything but that you just couldn't see your way there's another squirrel right there right there digging for nuts yeah and you said to yourself you said wow I do not understand how this thing is going to work out for my good I cannot figure that out leave a comment yeah guys let me see how we doing I need to clean the screen off there bring it off the screen yep the ground has a odor. Yeah. I think it's like the animal urine that is coming up out of the ground because it's moist and it smells. So you could smell a little bit of a strong aroma coming out of there. Yeah. 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 But it's uh it's not in, not uh unbearable. Yeah. Okay. So we'll think making our way now back to the cars. Yeah. Guys, I cannot tell you how many steps we walked today because I left my watch on the charger. I do not have it on my wrist. And I walked out the house and left it on the charger. So I'm gonna have to depend upon the other girls to tell me what they are steps one time we walked to pictures in that little cubicle right there it was a bright sunshiny day yeah right there you go inside yeah guys these trees have names this is the minor minor narrow Kind of narrow. It's a memory of somebody's name. And this tree was planted there by a family member. Yeah. And they were remembering their loved one. I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think all the the uh, seats out here too as they're planted, they're placed in loving memory of, and the squirrels are just enjoying themselves today. And of course you got the tables. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, hold on. Okay, guys, you got your umbrella? Yeah. So, guys, oh, you don't want it? You gonna get it? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of blowing, though. So, guys, we're here at the Buddhist temple, and uh, I am not Buddhist, but uh, I'm Christian, but this is a interesting, uh, I've never seen this before, and uh, to see the various ways people uh, worship, and uh, yeah, so this is interesting, and uh, we'll just, I think you can only just walk around and take a look, and yeah, there's a, there are pictures of the of their God, and uh, I understand that each one of these uh, particular things mean different things to them. Someone said that uh, Buddhists return in the form of various animals, or whatever it is that they believe. I can't, don't know about their faith, so I'm just gonna take uh, photos and. Uh, if you are aware of their faith and you know anything about it, then you share. You can share what you know. Okay? Leave a comment. So this is this is uh, the temple here. Yeah, and we're on the outside of it, and as you can see, and uh, walking around. So. Um, I'm not sure what that is over there. Like some type of a campground or something. And uh, here they have uh, a lot of. They said they have lots of angels. <laughs> they said these are. Okay, so are these angels here? That's what these are. Uh, um, the women. That lady over in the fountain. Okay. Is an angel. So and they have uh, up top. There's a temple. I see the shapes of the trees. I love the shapes of the, the way they've, they've designed the trees. I love that. Yeah, look at that. That's very beautiful. Look at the trees, guys. Look how they trimmed them. And it's so unique. Isn't that interesting? Evelyn, the trees. See how they trimmed the trees? Isn't that very interesting? Yeah. Hold on to the rail, Evelyn. Yeah, I don't need to sit and fall. Yeah. Oh, look at all. I like the way they do all of their... The garden is very beautiful out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when the sun is shining, woo! Can you imagine? Look there, guys. And they have a donation box here. And, uh, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Oh, much there, and this is a picture of it. I'm, I'm down looking up now. The stairs, we just came down those stairs that go up to the temple. Again, guys, this is not Christian, this is a Buddhist, Buddhist temple. This is their faith, their religion, their temple, their place of worship here. Yeah, and uh, they have this water pool here. Surrounded by all of the pink type flowers there, yeah. And they say something that this means something with the lady there in the hair, guys. So if you know what that means, uh, write it in the comments because I do not. Very interesting. People make it, the cooling, and then they buy it. But if you do want to come, Yeah. My, my memory, 
<laughs> yeah, look at the different trees here. Look at this one, guys. Very interesting. Very interesting that one is the leaves here. This one. Wow. They look like Yes, yes, yes. An elephant's a big, big so time. Do I didn't know elephants. Oh, everything's elephants to tiny. I can't pronounce it, but I just know it's the What's Buddhist. The name of this? It's over there on the Wapa, sign. Wapa, yeah, just Buddhist yeah. temple. Wapa. I can't. It's right there. Right there. Okay, guys. So there's a temple up there. Buddhist. There's a the Buddhist right there. Got this cow. And that cow. Yeah, I saw it, but as we were driving in, I, I like thought. The reflection of the little flowers in it. So they put a lot, a lot of work into their temple, guys. Not a lot of work into it, keeping it uh, maintained. Just look at the way that they shape the trees right here. See how they go through there like that? See that? They trim that. And then come over here and show them like through that. Mm -hmm. So they cut in between each tree so that it doesn't uh, like they're not like touching each other. And guys, this is the name. I don't know if I can get over there to get a shot of that, but that's the name right there. Yeah, are we allowed to walk out there? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I wouldn't walk on the grass. Yeah. Yeah, like she said, you can take our picture, like up near the temple, maybe on the steps. Yeah. Yeah. I stay close to the top of the steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so guys, again, this is the Buddhist temple. We are not Buddhist. We're Christian, but we're just visiting. Uh, their site to see what all they have and how they uh, worship. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Yes. So if you are a Buddhist and you understand you would understand all that we're looking at and what's going on here and you would like to share leave a comment <clears throat> and uh, explain it It'd be interesting thank you very much so guys this is Queen C. Pinkston your caregiver supporter and uh, the girls as we were over at Tinker Park getting our walk done they decided that they one of the girls uh, recommended that we come and pay a visit to the local Buddhist temple. And that's what this is, is the Buddhist temple. And this is in Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. So we have umbrellas because it has been raining today. Rainy day. Raining on and off. And a uh, bit of wind, kind of windy. So, yeah. And uh, there's an overcast, overcast, the sun is not out, you can see the overcast in the sky. Yeah, it's, it's cloudy. There's a plane going over, you can hear the sound of the airplane going over. And uh, yeah, so uh, they want to get on the steps here and they want to take a picture, a group shot. So, yeah. So when I we'll get a good shot of them over here, over, here, over this. Again. All right, guys. Very interesting day. Learned something new today. Never been here before. 
And uh, yeah, like I say, good to, un to learn and understand other things, yeah? Right? So you can know, yeah, okay? So this is Queen City Pinks, your caregiver supporter right here, Rochester, New York, guys. Guys, you leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right? Thank you. So guys, now we're headed back into the city, coming out from around East River Road. Ride along with me as we make our way back. <clears throat> uh, back home. Yeah. Uh, they're doing some construction up here. Now this is East this is East River Road. East River Road right here. <coughs> okay. So they're doing some construction. One lane road ahead. Be prepared to stop. Okay. So we're going to go all the way down to Jefferson Road. Making our way back to 390 North to get us back to Greece. Okay. So guys, this is Queen C. Pinkson, your caregiver supporter in Rochester, New York. All right. Coming from our Wednesday walk. So just ride along and enjoy. West Jefferson Road there so they're doing right now at the light though this is Lehigh Station Road <clears throat> so if you're used to this area and guys yeah Lehigh Station Road and I'm driving on East River Road
this part I'm familiar with. RIT campus goes right over there to the um, to your right. Yeah, so it's easy to run. All right. Jefferson Road. <clears throat> At the light, turn left onto New York 252 West, West Jefferson Road, then slight right.
turn left onto the I-390 north ramp. Turn left onto the I-390 north ramp. Continue on I-390 north for three miles. Oh my guys. So we're gonna go ahead on and get home. We will see you. In the next video, Queen C. Pinkson, your caregiver supporter, like, share, and subscribe.